Canada's 150th anniversary, Perimeter Institute hosted a nationwide contest to celebrate innovation in classrooms across the country. Schools from coast to coast to coast competed by sharing videos online of innovative science demonstrations or experiments in their classroom, and Canada voted on its favorite. The prize is science organizations from across the country converging onto the winning school and bringing scientists, technologies, and loads of opportunity to celebrate Canadian ideas and ingenuity. What we brought today was just all kinds of ways for kids to engage. We have a black hole made of a waterfall so kids can learn about the four child radius. We've got our mystery tube about the process of science. We have demos to show Newton's laws, including breaking a brick over our arm, and just a lot of ways for kids to just engage and play and, and feel the science. Well, especially for the grades nines and tens, they're starting to decide what they want to do when they're older. And I really think that this will, you know, influence them to do something with like physics, chemistry, biology, anything like that. So here at Cathedral High School, we have 11 science organizations from as far away as Vancouver, Saskatoon, Sudbury, Ottawa, Toronto, Waterloo, and from right here in Hamilton. And they're giving the students here an opportunity to interact directly with scientists. I like science to begin with and seeing the exhibits and the equipment and all of these like just things that I've never seen before just makes me want to get into it even more. I think it's just really cool to see all the potential of what you could be doing in the future. I saw the Nobel Prize and that was pretty bomb. It comes down to what really inspires kids. The thing that really does it is moments of science capital. That's time to play with science, with your friends, with your family, with your parents. We want to get kids excited and engaged about learning science. We're hoping that this gets the kids to ask a lot more questions. We're hoping that it engages kids and starts conversations so we can continue to teach science and how much we love it. <laughs>